conscious food shoppers often want to know if what they're buying is truly organic or whether animals have been raised humanely. Experts say labels are tricky and not all products meet the same standard. CBS's Lisa Mateo helps us with some smart label reading. During a trip to the grocery store, you'll find all kinds of claims and seals on food packaging. Can be put on the label. But Charlotte Valais with Consumer Reports says the labels don't always mean what you think. We wanted to make sense of it for consumers and help them understand which are the claims that I can trust. The nonprofit analyzed many of the claims made on today's food. Why did you guys decide to look into this? Um, because labels are so confusing. Take products labeled non-GMO. Valet says if you really want to avoid genetically modified foods, this is the label that counts. They really should look for that non-GMO project verified seal, which has meaningful standards behind it and good verification requirements. For example, sending samples of the food to a lab to make sure it is non-GMO. For organic food shoppers, Consumer Reports gives this USDA organic seal an excellent rating. But packaging that says natural or all natural is not the same as organic. That claim gets a poor rating because it means different things for different foods and it isn't regulated by a government agency. There is also confusing labeling when it comes to antibiotics. Consumers really should look for no antibiotics ever and then a seal to accompany it which could be USDA process verified or another one is USDA organic. And people concerned about how animals are raised should check for the seals American grass fed, certified humane and animal welfare approved. Ballet says a careful reading and understanding of the labels can give shoppers more confidence in their choices. Lisa Mateo, CBS News, New York. All right, and we have a link to this Consumer Reports article on our website. Just head to wearegreenbay.com slash local5live.